Hi everyone, I am Prachi Agarwal. Welcome to our channel, Learn Competitive Programming with CodeChef. If you are interested in competitive programming and want to learn and master data structures and algorithms, then this is a one-stop destination for you. Every week, we'll post CodeChef problem explanations, conceptual videos on various programming paradigms, and also conduct live problem-solving sessions. But before we actually get started, Here's a reminder to hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet already. Great! Now that you have subscribed, let's get started. Today we'll be solving the problem Highest Divisor, which is a cakewalk problem and it belongs to the February Long Challenge. Now without wasting any time, let us go to the problem statement. So guys, today here we have a very simple problem. It says that uh, we'll be given with an integer n we are supposed to find out the largest integer between 1 and 10 which divides n. So what does it mean by divides n? That is it is a factor of n. That means that if there is a number suppose uh, n was 12 and we divide 12 by 6 and the remainder that we are going to get here is going to be 0 right because uh, 6 into 2 is 12 so the quotient here will be 2 and the remainder here will be 0. So if any number is divisible by some other number then we can say that uh, it div like it divides n. So that is what we are supposed to find here. So it qualifies on finding that we are supposed to find the factors of n. Now let us take uh, n to be equals to 24. Now, what are the factors of 24? Let us uh, write them down one by one. So, 1 will always be a factor of any number, definitely. Then, 24 has other factors like 2, 3, 4, uh, 6 and 8. Then, it also has uh, 12 as the factor and it will be divisible by 24 itself. But, what is given here that we are supposed to find out the highest, the largest integer between 1 and 10 which divides n. So definitely this 12 will not qualify because 12 is greater than 10. So we have to find the largest integer among these numbers. And you can easily see that it is 8. So what simply you can do in this question is, since this is a very small range, there are just a 10 numbers that we will have to check that whether n is divisible by it or not. So uh, what you can do, you can just run a simple loop from i equals to 1 to 10 and then for each i, you can check whether n is divisible by i or not. But the catch here is that you have to find the largest integer, right? So the loop should not be from 1 to 10. It should be, uh, uh, it should run from 10 to 1 because you have to find out the largest one. And whenever you find out that n modulus i is equals equals 0, that means n is divisible by i, then in that case, you can just uh, end your loop there and print the answer directly. So what we will do here, we will run our loop from i equals to 10 to 1. We will go backwards and then we will check if n modulus i is equals equals 0. If that is true, then in that case we have got our answer that is equals to i. And then we can come out of the loop. And each time we will have to do i minus minus because uh, we want to check for each of the numbers from 1 to 10. Whichever will be the answer that we will uh, we are supposed to print. And if there is no answer then we already know that 1 is always uh, a factor of every number. So there will always be an answer to this question. So that's it guys. This was our uh, question. Now let us see the input output and constraints. So here uh, you can see the first and only line of input contains a single integer n. So yes, like I took n equals to 24. So you can, uh, you'll be given uh, with any number there, like uh, 12, it can be 13. So that ways. 
Then what you have to print as output is a single line containing one integer, the largest divisor of n between 1 and 10. So uh, you can uh, you have to print your answer uh, like in the previous case for n equals to 24 our answer was 8. 8 is the largest divisor uh, that divides n uh, between 1 and 10. Then the constraints, you can see the constraints are too low. N lies between the range of 2 to uh, 1000 only. And it does not matter because uh, you are only checking, you're only running a loop for 10 numbers because you're only checking for 10 numbers whether N is divisible or not. So the time complexity here will be order of 10, which is very small. Easily this uh, question will get accepted as the answer. So guys, this was about the question. It was a very simple question and <clears throat> it, uh, it depended on uh, finding out the largest divisor. But there can be better and more difficult questions that can follow related to factorization, related to finding out the divisor, GCD. And there are so many other topics that uh, you can think of when uh, we do questions like these. So, this was a very simple question and you were, I'm sure that you were able to solve this. But there can be a possibility that you are not able to solve other questions that follow. After this, uh, the difficulty level will increase. So what you can do is that you can just go and check out our uh, free live courses that are there on an academy app because there you will find everything all the basic topics plus the advanced topics related with competitive programming and it is very important to enhance your competitive programming at this point of time because everywhere in all the companies competitive programming has become a necessity so definitely guys don't waste your time you have everything covered on the unacademy app and most of it is free for you so please go check out the unacademy app check out the courses that are there and if you like it then you can also take the plus subscription of the unacademy app now to go to the unacademy app and register there and avail all the free services you will have to uh, you will have to give my coupon code there which is prachi16 that way you will be able to register and avail all the services that are provided by unacademy so guys all the best and now we will proceed to the code. So guys, as I already told you that this was the most simple problem and the code is definitely going to be very simple. So I hope that you have tried the code on your own and then if you were not able to solve only then you are coming here to uh, see the code. So let's start. First, we were supposed to take input uh, for the integer n that we are supposed to test and find out that what is the greatest divisor it has between 1 and 10 so that we are uh, taking the input on in this first line then we will run a for loop from uh, 10 to 1 right so not every one of you must be familiar with python and maybe you're not able to understand what this for loop is doing so i will write a simple for loop for you for i equals to 10 i is greater than 0 i minus minus this is the loop that we are going to run and what this is going to do it will uh, give us values uh, like 10 9 8 up to 1 so we need these values one by one to check whether n is divisible by any one of these or not that is why we are running this loop so that is what uh, this loop is doing here. 10 is the upper bound, 0 is the lower bound because this loop will run from 10 to 1. So we have given 0 here and minus 1 indicates that it will go backwards means from 10 to 9, from 9 to 8. That is what this loop means here. Then we will enter the if condition. It is a very simple condition like we are just checking whether n is divisible by uh, i or not. So n modulus i will give us the remainder and if the remainder is 0, then we have found out our answer that is the highest divisor because we are running a loop from the highest number to the lowest number. So if we find this condition to be true at any point of time, 
then we will simply print our answer that is i and then we will break out of the loop because we do not need to go further we were just supposed to find the highest divisor so guys that's it this was the code now if you understood the video then do like the video and also subscribe to our channel you can also stay notified of our channel and all the upcoming updates by uh, the telegram link that is given in the description box below